Right, here's the way I put the studs back in. I've gave them a, a, a clean up with the wire brush on the, the drill. Right, so I've already done the first three, so you just enter that in. Get two of the, the cylinder head nuts. I'll put that one in the opposite way. Just screw that on. Get the other one. Get them on a few good turns. Right. Then lock the two nuts up. That's all. Then take that. Tighten it down. Right, what to do when it starts to get tight, you put the other span underneath another nut and you're sort of holding that against against the other, the other turning motion of that. Right, obviously you didn't want to over time. I think it's to take a bit of shearing I think that, Right, just hold that other nut and slacken Same method basically applies to any other stud Like studs on, on a car uh, exhaust manifold So like that Right, next thing is we want to get the piston on this can be a bit fiddly right before we stick the piston in better get the rings on right with being a two stroke you have pegs on the piston this is to prevent the, the piston rings from turning and fouling on the, the ports on the, the cylinder. Now you've got a step on the, the piston ring and you've got the, there's the peg, and you can see that now, the peg on the piston. So obviously you're wanting the short part to face up the way. Usually on the on the piston ring there's letters or something stamped on the on the ring and that usually faces up the way. Well in my experience it has always. I'm sure sometimes you get two different thicknesses of rings. They usually look the same. On the bottom ring that little that looks like a sorry off cut of metal. That goes on the, the bottom, I think they, they call that an expander ring. That goes on the bottom. So some of that. That's quite flexible though. Just make sure that lines up. First piston ring. Now you can put this in the first groove. Now these can be quite brittle, so just watch you don't overstretch it. Right, that's it. Jump down to the, the second.
I think that's that, Edward. Top ring. When you put it on, try and get the gap of the ring to, to meet that peg. It's just going to go on a little easier. Just make sure you're putting it the right way up. Right, that's that. That's marked EX, that's obviously for exhaust, so that's going to Right, since that's facing that way, I'm going to put the, the first circlip on there. I don't know what's that, I'm not going to try to get two slim circlips on. Right, so there's the first circlip. I think how you can class that as a circlip. These are better. You, you get the other ones that are sort of all the way around. I thought, I thought that wee bit there. I just find these are a bit easier to go on. Right, so that sits that way. So we want to get in there first. Right, so. So it's that. So you want to get that in. You have to watch that you don't bend this. Just in like that. And once it's clipped in, you'll be able to turn it. And I always put the and like that, with a join at the bottom. Right, next thing is the gudgeon pin. Right, we'll need some lube. Where the two stroke oil comes in. Right, so you've got a new small end bearing that came with a crankshaft. Just trip something through there as well. Right, put some. In here on the rings, right? So get that entered first onto the piston. Sometimes if you put it just through far enough like that, you can actually like hook it onto the the wee end. Obviously, a lot easier on the bench like this. Instead of doing it on a bike. Famous last words. That's the thing I should have done first, is just check that that is a good fit in there. There shouldn't be any play at all, up and down movement, nothing. Right, so that fits that right. Get that back in there. Right, there shouldn't be any force getting that through at all. Right, that's that in. The other clip, where I've put that, that is there. 
Let's see him again. Degrees the hands. Oh, you see this? So that's that in. Right, that's where I can get a wee bit tricky, try enter all this into you have to keep that the piston rings onto that groove same the other side you've got another one there you have to keep that lined up and you've got the next thing is to, is to get the barrel entered on that and drop the whole lot down make sure that it just everything lines up basically right right I've got the new cylinder there I've just checked make sure there's no sort of burrs kind of high spots and that. that that looks perfect same with the face for the, the cylinder head I'll put a new gas base gasket on. Right, what I want now is some two stroke. And now right. So we've got that linked up, and we've got to turn it a wee bit so it's not in top dead centre, just so I can get the cylinder a wee bit further down. See the other roof. Let it sit out. There you So, sometimes it seems to get them on a bit easier. Right, next step is on with the, the cylinder head. Now in this kit, the big board kit, you get everything with it. You get the cylinder head, you get the cover, and you get all the gaskets you need. Right, so that's... That'll go on that way, I would think. That's clean. Right, is there any particular way that's going to go on? Nope. Right, so these. These bolts, well, these nuts 
go down to 22 newton meters. 22 newton meters. I wonder if it'd be worth just putting. Right, I've got a top wrench. Right, this is off. This snap on top wrench. It's in pounds foot, but you've got a 22 is going to be maybe 17 pounds foot. It's quite tight for me. Just go around them once more. Mm -hmm. Right. That's them on. I could give this a little crank over just to see, make sure everything turns. Piston doesn't hit the head. Right, just reposition that, that's turning fine. Right, what I want to do next is. Right, I want to do the timing next, I think. There's no big rush to get that cylinder head cover on. Check the specifications for the timing. I'll get on the the stator mount and plate and that back on. Then we'll go through the timing. Right, I've got that mount and plate on, and somebody uh, previously had marked on white paint. So obviously the timing. That's how you 
adjust the timing the three screws and you can actually move them back and forward to that, that plate that would advance the timing and that would retard the timing right so what I do is let's see if I can move this up you have to excuse the rubbish from my bench right now the timing on this is 1.2 millimeters before top dead center now what that means is basically you want an, the spark plug to spark 1.2 millimeters before top dead center the the piston that's its position basically so you've got that you stick that back on there's a wee drop key on that Sounds like there's a helicopter up there looking for me. I'm in here. <laughs> right, so what you would want to do is switch this on. You would get this to zero, get this to find the top dead center first. So this is my method by the way, so now you see how that's gone. And you always want to turn it the direction if the, the rotation the engine runs. So you round this up to top dead centre. So you feel top dead centre there. Take it back a bit and do it again. Right, that's on top dead centre. You can actually feel it just coming up then when it starts going back down. You can get the feel it. Right, what to do there is zero that. Right, you could go back right round again if you wanted. Right. So you want to take this up, so that reads 1.2 that's 1.2 millimetres too far, so you can actually take it back and bring it back again So that's on 1.22. Right, you got a drill, and it goes through that hole in the flywheel. And there's a bit on that plate where that enters. So that time is sent at 1.2. 1.2 right so if you really had to adjust that take that out and I don't want that getting bent and that drill that goes in there so basically that's gone through that hole right through to there so if that didn't line up you just slacken them off a wee bit and turn that accordingly. The M6, well a lot of the M6s, the older engine is the same, but some of the plates you can't adjust, it's just a hole. Sometimes you, you can actually file it out and you can buy plates like that to get your timing spot on, but that's, I would say that was, that, that's that's close enough for me, guys. A quick word on that as well. I've obviously still got the 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 stator to put on there. So that was just easy, easier to show 
the adjustment 